in Paris when he was feeling extremely discouraged. He was just getting nowhere. And he went to see Picasso and Picasso said, get in line, wait your turn. Just pretend you're waiting for the subway. It's inevitable that you will meet a failure or two or three or four. At the same time, the art itself, the product of that uh, obsession, that obsessive kind of way of working is the paradigm for all that is free and spontaneous. That's a very loaded question. <laughs> I'm like trying to think of words. The process? The process in general? That's funny you say that because I, I think about it a lot. Um, that's a very deep question. <laughs> a start and a finish? I used to think that the only thing that mattered was the end result. But the more and more I get into it, the more I realize that the process of creating, getting lost in that, is just as important. And I'd say it's where like all of like the fun is. Initially, I get really excited and then once, you know, more effort is put into it and as time progresses, I'm like, oh God. Like, it just makes me feel like I'm putting so much into what I'm doing. To start is probably the most important one. Sometimes you start with something and it's not the way you, you see you are looking for and then you just need to start again and again and again and again. It's all just a learning process. Sometimes it can be good, sometimes it can be bad. When it's not fun, you have to take a break. I have to like really remind myself that it's not that serious. We're all human and we're not perfect the first time we do something. We are just so talented as a species. Sometimes it just doesn't feel real. Nothing feels real sometimes. If you have that point in your mind, whatever you want to be, sooner or later, those all failures that you have are going to be part of that process to get you there. Putting yourself in spaces where you are inspired after you have that inspiration. Just not be so hard on yourself and just treat everything almost like a game. Clear the mind so it has more space to create. To create. People want to make things. People want to preserve things through their through their hands, like through, through their eyes, like listening, like just experiencing life. I mean, if art didn't exist, neither would innovation. Art isn't just visual or like performative. It's also these buildings, and it's also this concrete that we stand on. Surreal, more real than reality itself. A dash of cubism and a dollop of Matisse. Surreal, more real than reality itself. It's just too difficult, too complex to really describe. The art should be more ingrained in like school and stuff like that too, in education, because it helps you see the bigger picture in a lot of things. So. That's it. Oh, dude, awesome. <laughs> You're welcome. You're welcome. You're welcome. Of course. Mm -hmm.